Well, folks, clench your butt cheeks because it is doomsday right now. Everybody's going off. We got the homie Mudaher. We got the homie Red Dragon uh, starting another console war. And guys, I started the meme series once yeah. again. Definitely show some love. And we have the homie Phil Spencer, okay? And let me tell you one thing about the homie Phil Spencer, okay? The homie loves to give us the content, but not in the game. Yeah. He loves to give us the content on the internet. And we got a ton of sass, my brothers. Leave a like. Let's go for three likes on the video and check this out you're gonna love it roll it if we're an xbox customer the thing i want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you yeah, that yeah. ship on platforms where game pass exists oh, why oh, how the coin has flipped as Dang. we saw phil spencer head of xbox laying out the vision of exclusive titles on that platform and at the time how bethesda was going to fit into that mission Two years later, the internet is ablaze, rumors yeah. are swirling, and Phil Damn. has once it. again had to respond. Wait for it. I gotta show you this clip right here, and guys, we gotta get into the story. Do you think they made a terrible mistake by buying Bethesda and Activision? One, if you believe that. Two, if you think, nah, there's no bad mistakes. Because a lot of console fanboys are losing their minds, okay, on both sides. But majority in this situation are the blind Xbox fanboys. Obviously, if this was to happen with, like, PlayStation, even the Sony ponies would be losing their mind. I mean, who cares, bro? Like, gaming for everyone, right? Gaming for everyone, guys. Come on, man. It is just gaming at the end of the day. Check this. And it was all about this report posted to Xbox Era's website exclusive microsoft plans starfield launch for playstation 5 which in itself is into the playstation field <laughs> packed with massive buzzwords with huge Man. implications just take these three microsoft oh no starfield oh no playstation this is how the the xbox looking like right now bro. which the only time i can remember seeing those three together is when it was announced that microsoft was planning for starfield to be an xbox exclusive Damn. so it would therefore not be coming to playstation playstation yeah and for weeks but, dog i'm not sure for how long you guys have been around but we had rumors that at one point starfield was gonna be like playstation 5 exclusive and then microsoft heard rumors and this is confirmed right this is like oh this all all of this information came directly when um Phil Spencer, when Daddy Phil Spencer was fighting to acquire Activision, it came through the FTC channels, right? So we heard that at one point, PlayStation was gonna have Starfield and it was like their exclusive, right? Phil Spencer heard that and they were like, okay, man, we cannot let uh, PlayStation have another exclusive, right? And and I get it, right? Like, you're you're the CEO of Xbox, dog. Like, you cannot see all the games be on PlayStation and have nothing on Xbox. You just cannot. So I get it. I get where he was coming from. So he decided to just buy the entirety of Bethesda. That happened and they bought it for like seven, eight billion. Fast forward to like a couple of months later, I believe, year after they ended up buying Activision Bruh. okay and now we're hearing that <laughs> all of the games are gonna be on PlayStation and as a gamer this is a W move the reason I'm laughing here is obviously it's funny and secondly a lot of the console fanboys are losing their mind bro like what difference is it making in your life nothing it's not even gonna do anything bro if you have a BBC you're still gonna have a BBC dog if you don't have a BBC, it's still, you're not gonna have a BBC. Bruh. Simple as that, okay? It's not gonna change your life. But I get it. If you only have Xbox and your expectations were, like, not met, you're upset. Okay, that, I get it. But being mad over that, I mean, come on, man. Like, it's, it ain't that serious, but check this. Now, we had heard those ever-so-quiet whispers about Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves and how Microsoft was oh, possibly, no. at that time, allegedly making a shift to release those first-party titles onto its rival platform, PlayStation, which, yeah. by the way, would never reciprocate that transfer. This Damn. was always going to be a one-way street. But then the H-bomb drops, once again reported Ow. on by Xbox Era. According to their sources, who wish to remain anonymous, that list of first-party games was also set to include Bethesda's first new universe in 25 Bruh. years, Starfield. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Now, I'll say this, right? If only, if only we had GTA 6 coming out on PC day one, you wouldn't even need to have consoles no more, bro. 
you can just play on PC and that's it. Now, I get it. Like, if you're somebody that's not a fan of consoles or you're not a fan of PC gaming, then you can have, like, PlayStation 5 because right now there's no need to buy Xbox. You can just have PlayStation or PC only, GTA 6, high quality, like, 4K, max out, whatever, right? But we're not getting GTA 6. That's the thing, man. On Talk PC. about stunned. I mean, I was there and then some. Not that I'm tied to any platform. I have no skin in the console wars yeah. game. I am 100% a PC gamer. Yeah. And the only war I truly... I, I feel like that a lot of the Xbox and P uh, Sony ponies are now like shielding behind... Uh, <laughs> I'm a PC mysteries. I'm a PC mysteries. But at the end of the day, though, I guess we all should come together and we should fight for free online on all platforms like the video if you agree obviously console war banter and the memes i love I, I love them right but when it becomes toxic that's when i'm like come on man like you these companies don't care about you in fact no company cares about you your mom cares about you your parents care about you your close circle care about you and you care about them and that's beautiful that's how it's supposed to be you shouldn't be uh, sucking their bbc bruh you shouldn't be sucking their d okay these companies don't care about you but I i'm curious to see where you guys at how you feel about we want to wage is for great games to be released on all platforms and to end the bullshit of exclusivity rights but that's really not here nor there just my passion for the fact of bubbling over anyways the rumored starfield to playstation shift was reportedly to happen later in 2024 once Damn. the shattered space dlc dropped I'm sure there are other sources out there, other outlets that have spoken with Microsoft insiders and so on, and I might not get the exact starting points correct, yeah, but yeah, the information yeah. is going to end up the same. I got you. So that's like two days ago. Then we bounced to yesterday-ish, and yeah. the reports are now... Ow, 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 We bounced to yesterday. Guys, get into it, okay? We, we got this. Clench your butt cheeks, guys. Fasten your seatbelts, because the ride might be bumping. How expanded to upcoming titles? What? Dang. Is now Indiana Jones and the Great Circle has also entered the debate. And at this point... Now, here's the thing, right? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I, I, I don't know if I should say this, right? I should... I'm not sure. Uh, but they're probably not watching this video. They're not going to take this idea, right? They're probably going to do what they want to do. But I'm going to just bring this up, right? If they decide to do something, and I feel like that they probably gonna, whenever they're gonna have new exclusives, for example, like Indiana Jones, I don't think it's gonna launch day one on PlayStation. It might come out like a month later, a year later. Yeah, sure, that I can see. And if you're like really upset by this news, I understand. But if they decide to put games like a year after on PlayStation, you shouldn't even be upset. Because you have the Xbox, okay? You can play day one on Xbox and then a year later, those of those of you that want to wait and you have PlayStation, well, you can play it on uh, PlayStation a year later. I think then it would be this way. They wouldn't upset the Xbox uh, fans too much and they would also be able to make uh, uh, money from uh, the Sony ponies, let's just say, the PlayStation 5 player base as well, right? I think that would be a good move. But what if they do something like this, guys, that they make call of duty coming out like a month early or a year early on xbox oh, shit. Oh, shit. not on playstation that's when i mean they're gonna just flip everything because right now a lot of the xbox fanboys are having a meltdown the xbox fans are upset not all of them like the, the people with a brain they're not upset right like people with a brain gamers that gamers are pretty much happy on both sides right uh, obviously we are not getting games on both sides so gamers are not happy in that way but gamers are happy by the fact that okay like console uh exclusivity bs is finally one day is gonna go away but what if they decide to do a thing where call of duty and all of the the, the studios that they acquired games from all of these studios come out day one on pc and xbox but they come out like a little bit later on like even a week later for games like call of duty on the playstation that would be like uh like a deal breaker for a lot of people and all of a the sudden then you know we're gonna see like the xbox fanboys doing helicopters with their rollies the sony ponies would be coping just like how the xbox are coping right now so it's like a never-ending cycle do you see that happening do you not see that happening i don't think it will happen because they made a deal with playstation uh and the ftc that they're gonna they're not gonna put call of duty only on <laughs> xbox no exclusivity so they said that so i don't think it would happen but i'm just bringing up that point if they do something like that it doesn't even have to be call of duty it can be like indiana jones for example right indiana jones not gonna be a massive title i mean it's gonna be a good uh, hopefully hopefully debatable debatable uh, after starfield everything is debatable 
but, but you know what I mean, right? If, if they do something like that with Indiana Jones, not a deal breaker, but if they do it with Call of Duty, no matter how many times you're gonna say the game is trash, it's gonna be a deal broker breaker for a lot of people because it's one of the best selling game every year. You feel what I'm saying? You instantly start to look past the flashing headlines. Things like Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, Indiana Jones, and people started trying to peek now behind the curtain and asking the yeah. questions, what the hell has happened over at Microsoft? Damn. Was this a full-blown corporate shootout over at Microsoft HQ where the bean counters actually won out? Because now it's gone from the possibility of a couple of lesser known, possibly older first party titles. Actually hey, yo, for Fable, like, come on, man. Like, bruh, what the bruh. hell is that, bro? That ain't even a chick, bro. That, that That's just a man in, like, chick's clothing. Come on, man. Stop with that bull squash, bruh. Getting ported over to PlayStation, which in itself is still crazy to say, to then adding in Starfield, to then an upcoming Bethesda release in Indiana Jones, and of course, everyone just starts piling on at this point. Yeah. You've got Jeff Grubb <laughs> reporting on this matter over on his podcast, Damn. Game Mess. I started seeing tweets from Tom Warren now yeah. confirming that t-shirt designs were found in the actual game files by Data... Whoa! Oh, shit! Whoa! What? What? No way! No way! No way, bro. Miners showing that Hi-Fi Rush was set to come to PlayStation. It then devolves into pandemonium, especially over on Twitter. You've got hardcore Xbox supporters feeling betrayed, Dang. PlayStation <laughs> supporters egging them on, yeah. some more even- Man, the Sony ponies are just gaslighting the Xbox homie, man. Everybody come here, okay? Come here, man. It's gonna be all right, man. It's gonna be all right, man. And I started that meme series, man. Let me tell you, man, the meme series is gonna make you feel right at home. So, shoot some love right there. But honestly, though, memes aside, uh, 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 I, I, okay, I'm seeing a lot of people say this as well, that this is just a rumor, and sure, it is a rumor, you should treat this as a rumor, it, it, we're, we probably are looking at half of the picture right now, but you need to understand this though, this is insider information, and it's most likely gonna be true, maybe half true, maybe full true, we're gonna find out, the fact that Phil Spencer came out and he just said that yeah next week we're gonna talk about it we're hearing rumors that this announcement was gonna be made by the end of this month but the fact that it got leaked to this degree they're now gonna be pushing it forward and they're moving it to next week and they're gonna announce it early that's what we're hearing and you gotta understand another there's another point right you gotta understand this that for the longest amount of time we have been having rumors that yeah we're gonna have starfield coming on playstation okay we're here and in fact like i heard it I didn't necessarily make a video about it. I believe I mentioned it in a video here and there a while ago And I'm talking about like months ago, right? We were having these rumors, but these rumors Were just very small and either you wanted to believe or you don't want it to believe it was just like small rumors But fast forward to now just two three days ago Everybody started going in right like the the reputable leakers the insiders like people that leak uh, big stuff in gaming Right. These are the people that that started talking about like Jeff Grubb and people believe these guys I was like believe these guys and then Tom Henderson also very credible guy Everybody started going off right after and then the fact that Phil Spencer did not deny like nobody's denying these rumors, right? That's like one thing like these rumors have been going on going for like months on end and they're not denying anything I mean like they, it, it gotta be real then you know and they come out and say that next week we're announcing it sheesh i, I think something is happening guys killed messages about There's how they support the move and i'm not promoting any of these stances i'm just reporting on what is happening here so yeah don't take it out on me yeah don't shoot the messenger guys in the comment section please and if you're able to see past all of the noise and just start applying a little bit of thought process to this i mean if things were leaking that were grossly incorrect and could potentially do immense harm to both Xbox and the yeah, Microsoft yeah, 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 yeah. brand, they would have said denied something it. to correct it. They right? would have denied it, bro. I mean, someone exactly. would have stepped up to the mic and explained it all as a fabrication based on no facts at all. Don't worry, folks. All is as it should be at Xbox. Yeah. And they exactly. Didn't, yeah, they which for did many not. just instantly sealed the deal. Huge rumors that could damage the company and simultaneously piss off a lot of longtime Xbox supporters allowed to. If you're an Xbox fan, uh, Xbox fan, I get it that you might be upset though, because yeah, but, but like you should not be mad though. There's nothing to be mad though. Fester out there for days, and 
No. I, I guess people should be mad on the lack of quality that we're getting with the Xbox and the games, and sometimes also with PlayStation. But it's like, let's be real, PlayStation games are guys. Come on, man. Like the quality is uh, way better than the Xbox games. Okay, I I, I know that's like a crazy stance. We, we tried giving Starfield a chance, but like, damn, like we all know how that game turned out, right? But we gotta keep it. We, we gotta come together and we should ask for free online and we should ask for better games on both sides. In fact, like on all the fronts, okay? For all the sides. Response. Right? No rebuttal we from Nobody Xbox. should be mad for I mean, me, that's right? just a confirmation before you ever even need to ask the question. And these theories were further solidified when Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, set off this mildly worded tweet as of about 20 hours ago. Dang. Quote, we're listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for Yay. next week where there we, we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. There we go, boys. And recently this just happened. Click on this video on the screen. You're not going to believe it, man. The drama is the drama is insane. And quite frankly, it's hilarious as well. Check it out and I will see you right